Hello everyone, I was given this old computer which is an Intel Celeron D model 330 socket 470 and the motherboard model is a GA8S661GXMP I've been playing around with this old computer and I um, managed to put um, a Hackintosh Tiger 10.4 on there the only issue I have is the sound doesn't work and the network card. But it loads up really quick and everything. I'll just give a little tour of this tower. It's really old. I disconnected this floppy drive because I didn't want any problems. Um, there's no vents on either side of this tower. There's the model number right there. And I've already given you another board number as you can see no vents there is a small one on that side I don't know I can hook this up to a monitor in a moment to show you tiger loading on it it's only got um, 256 megabytes of DDR RAM which is 333 megahertz speed I've ordered 2 gigabytes of RAM because that's the maximum it takes to be um, DDR 400 megahertz RAM so hopefully then I can put maybe put a slightly higher Apple operating system on it but anyway I'm not going to ramble on I'm going to hook up the monitor cable which is in this other computer I'm working on at the moment and the power lead and everything then I'll show you it loading on the monitor. Okay. Okay, let's turn this on. Switch that on there. There was an 80 gigabyte eyed hard drive in this machine and in a box under the stairs I found another eye drive which was 20 gigabytes said the jumper slave and I put this that in the machine there and as you can see it's on the desktop and it's called Mac 2 and as you can see it's um, from an old computer it um, loads up Tiger pretty fast. Um, I go to about this Mac. It says the processor is unknown. That's because it's a seller on D D. And uh, like I said, there's 256 megabytes of 333 megahertz RAM, and it's Tiger 4.0. Um, sorry, it's Tiger 10.4.8. I didn't even know uh, there was a Hackintosh version of Tiger until I decided to look it up out of curiosity. As you can see, that's my um, slave hard drive, which is 20 gigabytes, but it's always slightly smaller than what it says on the hard drive. And that is my main hard drive, which is 80, but it shows up as 74, I think, but it before I put the operating system on now it shows 71 
as you can see if I load up Safari it will come up with a network error so I haven't managed to figure that out yet and I've got an issue with sound as well anyway I just wanted to show you this machine maybe I'll make a video about this machine again if I manage to get a higher version of Apple operating system on it after it's been upgraded I am wait like I said I'm waiting for two gigabytes of RAM in the post I should give it a bit of a boost I'll just show you the machine shutting down before I go Thanks for watching, over and out.